sweetie, it's okay. Mama's gonna get your bottle, and then you can take a nice long nap. Okay, sweetie, just a minute. Carly, can I hold him? Oh, uh, not right now, honey. But, but he's crying. Yeah, I know. It's just because he's hungry, and I'm gonna get his his bottle right away, and then he's gonna... Steam zipper? And I said no, and then I, and then I went over to get a bottle, and that's when you must have picked him up, and he, and he just wiggled right out of your arms, right? It's okay, honey. No one is gonna blame you. We know that you wanted to hold him because you love him, and this, this nice lady has already checked him, and he's gonna be fine. So just admit it. Admit Will that you, you made stop a blaming the boy for your shortcomings? That's a new low for you. Look at this child. Look how scared he is. But he's not a liar. Miss Griffin, you may proceed. MJ. Do you remember the day that your baby brother was christened? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us his name? Parker Joseph. Now, on that day, did you see something bad happen to Parker? Mm -hmm. He got dropped. Who dropped him, MJ? Her. Mm -hmm. It's going well, isn't it? Uh, MJ wants to say something to you. I don't know what it's about. Okay. You want to talk to me? Listen, you know something? I was really proud of you, the way you handled yourself up here today on this witness stand. That was good. What's up? Look at me. What did you want? I told a lie. A lie? About what? You're gonna kill me. Well, I'm not gonna kill you. Come on, what do you think you lied about? She didn't drop the baby. I did. I'm not angry and I'm not upset, okay? But I need you to be completely honest with me. You're sure that Carly didn't drop the baby? I just wanted to hold him. I know, it's okay, it's okay. In trouble, Daddy? No, 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 of course you're not. Uh, the important thing is that you told me the truth. I lied. I'm gonna go to jail now. Of course you're not. Look, we won't breathe a word of this, okay? What the judge said. I know what the judge said, but look, I'm your dad. This will be our secret. Just you and me. Nobody else has to know about it. Okay? It's all right. I'm going to take care of everything. It's all over now. Come on, give me a big hug. Atta boy, atta boy. As the world turns. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie about it. <clears throat> hey, it's okay. Don't hide. I'm, I'm not a cop. It's a pretty cool spot. Is there room for two? <laughs> you know, when I was about your age, I had a favorite hideout, too. I used to hide under my dad's old desk. And when things got nuts, I'd bunker down until it blew over. Did it? No. no. Most times it got worse. How? Well, like this one time, I kind of told a pretty big lie. A whopper. I did it to help my mom, so I figured it was okay. But things blew up big, MJ. I had my brother after me for years, and my mom, she never lived past the lie. 
I wanted to put things straight, but I was scared. And uh, the more time went by, the harder it was to admit to the truth. What happened? The truth came out. It always does. You know something weird? I felt pretty good about it. Everybody did. My brother, he's not mad anymore. My mom, she's cool. I wish I had told the truth from the beginning, but, you know, when you're a kid, and, I mean, even sometimes when you're an adult, you're too scared. I didn't have a clue that being honest was the best way to fix everything. Okay? All rise. It's been a long day, but it's almost over. I'm very proud of you. Do you have any further witnesses, Mr. Lawrence? We recall M.J. Dixon to the stand. Uh, Your Honor, my son has been through enough here. Uh, Dr. Dixon. It's very damaging to him. Uh, control your client. Really, I can't allow that, Your Honor. Uh, He's a young boy. It, it is well within the uh, proceedings of this uh, court. And uh, if you don't sit down, I'll have you removed. Now, son, would you come on back to the stand? It's okay. Bailiff. Would you like a little water? Now, MJ, Judge Rosen told you that you're still under oath, and it's very important that you tell the truth. Objection. Sustained. I've already instructed the child, Mr. Lawrence. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> MJ, you told us that Carly dropped little Parker. Is there anything else you want to tell us about that incident? It's okay, son. Take your time. We all understand. The truth's worth waiting for. MJ, could you please say that a little louder? Don't be afraid. I drew a Parker. I just wanted to hold him, but she wouldn't let me. So you dropped the baby. I guess you were afraid you would get into trouble, so you said that Carly did it. I lied. Daddy told me not to tell anyone. Not even the judge. But Daddy, it's wrong to lie. John, is this true? I'm sorry, Daddy. Please don't be mad at me. Out of the mouths of babes. Not only did John Dixon enlist someone to lie under oath to prejudice this court against his ex-wife, that someone was his own child. There's no question who the real unfit parent in this room is. John Dixon. As the world turns. Order, please. Order. Miss Griffin, rebuttal? No. Very well. You can step down now, son. After we wrap this up, Simeon Chambers, while your client may find it expedient to suborn perjury, this court does not take such a casual view. Mr. Lawrence, any more last-minute revelations? No, Your Honor. I'm ready to close. Then proceed. Hey, you. Please don't be mad at me. Oh, I'm not mad at you. No, sir. I'm proud of you. What you did up there, you did the right thing. Don't you worry about it. Um, you still love me? Of course I do. It would take a hell of a lot more than that to make me not love you. 